Let's get right to it. The top role in all of IT is a data engineer. However, I've always recommended the machine learning engineering role because the salaries simply haven't caught up for the data engineer. That is until now. If you're starting from scratch, you might want to consider the data engineering role, and here's why. The first big reason is that it's a mature role. Even though it's a new role, it's clearly defined. Companies know exactly what they want you to do, and that means you know exactly what you need to study and how to prepare for these roles. Secondly, you're going to work with other technical people. You won't be exposed to any academics like machine learning engineers are. There are no academics working in data engineering. Data engineers are highly technical people, and none of them come from academia. Yes, you'll need to start out on a more entry-level role, but moving from a data analyst to a data engineer will probably be a lot easier than moving from a data analyst to a machine learning engineer. Thirdly, there's less to learn. A machine learning engineer must know a lot of stuff, and that includes a good deal about applied statistics. This isn't the case for the data engineer. Data engineers will need to know SQL and Python and possibly another scripting language. You also want to focus on one cloud provider like AWS or GCP. This narrows your focus of study down. There's very little ambiguity in these roles. Another great aspect to the data engineering role is the data analyst role. If you're starting in a data analyst role, which I recommend, then what you're learning as a data analyst will help you move more easily into a data engineering role. Many of the skills you'll learn as a data analyst will directly apply to your role as a data engineer. Next, the certifications for data engineers are well-defined. If you want to work on Google's cloud, then you'll want to learn GCP and then take the Google Certified Data Engineering exam. If you want to work on Azure, then you'll learn Azure and then take the Azure Data Engineering exam. These are clearly defined, and Google's Data Engineering exam isn't that difficult. Earlier, I said money was better in machine learning. That's changing. Companies are realizing they can't find people to work with data and data isn't so easy to work with in the real world. I've seen salaries for data engineers recently head into the 250 range. That's the same spot top machine learning engineers are making. So the salaries for these two roles are right on par with one another. The data engineer is the top job in the world and has been for the last five years, and Google has said it may be for the next 10. Now, if you want to be a machine learning engineer, then keep on that path. However, if you aren't sure and you're just starting out, the data engineering role is certainly one you should consider. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon.